senior day is always special. You really go back and you think about the journey, you know, that the players are on, especially somebody like Cliff, who's one of the greatest kids. 32 years of coaching, like I'm gonna tell you, great, just absolutely great. And that he's been on this journey with his family way, way far away is even harder. I'm from Benin City, Nigeria. I came here in 2016. I was 14, but I was just a young kid and lived with my mom, my brother, my dad. It was a good, it was a hard thing for me to do. My brother only wanted me to like get a better education. Figured America would be the best place for me. Me and Cliff's brother Fred have a mutual friend. He put us together. He just asked me would it be okay if he stayed with me. I could tell that he missed his family by how often he wanted to call home. Um, he used to call his mother a lot. I uh, found myself getting uh, calling cards for him like once a week until he ran out the calling card and ran the phone bill up and then I got yelled at by my wife. But he hadn't seen his mother, his sisters, his brother. His senior day in high school, we decided to bring Alfred to come support him. Cliff had no idea. On senior day, they called my name. All of a sudden, I saw his face. I just like screamed and ran toward him. It was a great experience just seeing my brother there and being able to play in front of him. It's been about four years, a little bit more, that um, Fred has seen Cliff. For senior night, Fred would be back in town. Fred was able to uh, renew his visa and um, make it on time. It's a, it's a beautiful thing for Fred to be able to come and get to see him play at Rutgers. I'm so excited. <laughs> when was the last time you saw him? That was like four years ago. It won't be like last time when I didn't know he was coming, but this time I know it was coming. It's going to be a truly special moment. I will get to spend time with him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have the opportunity to do that, like show him around. These are just like everybody did too. Everybody on the time. Cliff has grown up so much within the last couple of years. This is my locker. I'm kind of packed right now. Too many shoes. So to see his brother embrace him as a grown man, I think that's going to be awesome. I struggle with not seeing my brother or my mom or dad, you know, every month. From that standpoint, the sacrifice that he's made, it's happy to see them when they get together and they embrace it's a touching moment. I gave I'm Cliff's good, brother good. one order, one order, <laughs> that he has to make sure Cliff grabs 15 rebounds. Yeah. Come on, so yeah. Thank you, thank you. Hey, you got to fry them, you got to take them to dinner, you got to do whatever, 15 rebounds. No problem, it's going to happen. Hey, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Hands up, family, family. One, three, one, two, three. Family! Cliff. He took a chance on Rutgers. Not only did he decide to come here, he succeeded here. Oh, he, the he put this program on a national stage. He'll go down on our Mount Rushmore of great players. He really will. And he truly will have his number up there in the rafters one of these days. I got a lot of memories. One, one would beat for the Beating the number one team, that was a special moment for me. Harper for the win! Oh! It counts! It 
some kids, they just readily, all of their parents can jump on a plane and they'll be here. It's not the easiest trip for his family. Cliff's senior day, just to have one of your family members on one of the biggest nights of your life is gonna be amazing for him. It's gonna be a proud day, and, and that his brother can be there. You know, when, when you leave a country when you're 13, 14 years old and don't see your family for years, I mean, I can only imagine what that would be like. He went through all those journeys and came out on the other end, and I hope in his last game here, he can go out the right way, having fans call his name and chant his name. He deserves that. <laughs>